2015 Infinity QX60. And the problem with this, customer called out. He said uh, possibly a rat was under here. Dog jumped in there, chased. They broke some cables, possibly. Uh, he had it fixed, but the car would not start. So you turn it on, and you pretty much... Well, I can't even turn it off, but you will have the... Uh, the key symbol here there's no communication with anything you can't communicate with 80 modules uh, for this job um, the first thing I did was to put a multimeter since I had no communication and you're gonna want to go between pin 6 and 14 with your multimeter in the ohm setting resistance as you see there and I was reading right at 60 ohms which tells me everything on the network was communicating from end to end where the resistors are on the network which means mostly all devices should be on the network so the next step was to break out the ultimate CAN bus tester. And if you haven't watched the videos on this ultimate CAN bus tester, you definitely need to check them out. This is a tool that you must have in your arsenal to help find problems very quickly. So I connected the ultimate CAN bus tester to a common, common ground here. And as you can see at the top is CAN high, at the bottom is CAN low. These settings should be at about two and a half volts um, at CAN high. Um, to three volts. Um, I'll put that on the screen here and similar at can low about two and a half one and a half something like that Basically these two should add up to about five volts when you add them together your two readings And as you can see right now, we're averaging something at like uh, Less than half a volt on both of them Which means kind of like the network is pulled to ground or being pulled to somewhat to ground, right? So something is offending on the network, which is stopping communication on the CAN bus, right? Um, by the way, available on our website, globalcommerce.com. Um, it comes <clears throat> with these piercing probes and back probes, rather, and it comes with piercing probes. Um, so as you can see, we just insert it into um, CAN high, which is 6, and 14, which is low. And that's our reading. Guys, we're shipping everything out for you. We remember we got the coupon sale going on right now for the uh, Ultimate CAN Bus Tester. We got them in stock. And remember, guys, these are all handmade right here in the USA. We keep in the lab working overtime for you guys. So definitely come pick yours up today. Now let's continue with the video. So I first thing I'm going to have my tech do is disconnect the easiest ones, which is the in engine computer. Um, I actually had him disconnect the engine computer. So uh, the next one is next to it. Let me show it to you. So here under the hood, next to the battery is the engine computer. Next to it, the easiest one next to it is the transmission control module. These are the first modules on the network I would always target because they're so easy to get to. Dale disconnect ahí de transmisión. So we're gonna, I'm gonna let him disconnect the transmission right now. And if that module is offending or something in the line with it is offending, it should bring the network back up. So we're gonna look for any changes. Bam, he's disconnected. Look at that. Look at our readings now. And then instantly I heard too, the blinkers came on. So that tells me the module started communicating. I'm even gonna try to start it. Now we even get a crank. It won't start because the transmission is offline, but it cranks now. So that tells us we need to investigate the line on the transmission. So I'm gonna pull up the wiring diagram for this network and look at that transmission module. Right, I've went and reviewed the uh, network diagram. And from what I'm seeing, there is a junction point and from that junction point springs out a connection that goes to this transmission module and then another one that goes to the engine control module. So they're completely independent. So by removing this connector and the network comes up, that isolates it and 100 confirms that this TCM is bad. So that is the problem right now with this vehicle. So it's gonna need a TCM replacement and most likely programming as well. And that should solve this problem. Um, anyway, That'll be it on this one. So if you didn't know this, now you know. And knowing this half the battle. Click that thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. And see you on the next one.